What is going on everybody man? King Recon here. Finally gonna watch the latest One Piece episode man. I've been really excited for this one. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Three, two, one. Come on. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It always feels like every single time I say 10, I can just hear superpowers playing in the background because I've been doing so many of these. Superpowers. I mean, I hope everybody's doing all right, man. It's been a crazy weekend and uh, whatnot, man, but I'm glad everything's settled down today. Finally being able to watch this episode. And there's a new chapter and episode this week. Um, from what I heard, they covered the rest of 903 in this episode. And um, next week will be 904, so that'll be very, very interesting um, to see how they handle 904. But uh, before that, man, 903, I remember in the preview from what we saw for this episode, uh, we're going to have a lot of uh, uh, Kobe flashbacks, of course, flashing back to the beginning of the series. So I'm excited to see that in a similar fashion the way we saw the Shanks flashback. Man, I really, really enjoyed that last episode. I, I truly did. I rewatched the uh, final half or like the final portions of that episode so many times and the shanks portions of the episode i watched so many times man it was just so cool bro you know how finally having shanks in animated form for the first time in so long by god man episode 489 was animated back in 2011 you know what i mean so it's been a long time since we've seen shanks in any non-opening, non-OVA type position outside of flashbacks, seeing him in real time for the first time in eight years in the anime. It's it's so cool. It's interesting to me though how they look at these oh dude, so they they're gonna change the visuals every <laughs> look at Kobe. Yo, so they're gonna change the visuals every episode then. We've got superpowers. So they're gonna change that portion, the portion of that episode, or the that portion of the opening every single time. But they're gonna keep these this the same. Superpowers. This next part, this next one is crazy, man. Yo. <laughs> Still my favorite uh, thing from, from from last year, man. That gym was wild. Bro, this is fire! What is this? <laughs> look! You look at the straw hats. New Marine Ford. No, they just told me I, ha I have I have low battery. Flagnards, fifty liters hold the world conference. Known as the Reverie, is about to start. I heard you the first time, low battery. Where's my other headphones? <laughs> this man saw she's still stressing. Of course. He wanted to separate himself as much as possible from that family and just for him to have his bounty increase just because of that name, I'd be heated too. My bounty has decreased. There we go. You know, when I first saw that, I was so confused. But then, after you put two and two together, you're like, Oh, oh and I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing.
You know. New Marine Ford, bro. I've been waiting to see this in animated form, man. The Great McDonald's. Yo, Akainu's speech, or his, his, his monologue at the end of last episode was fantastic. Here we go, man. Yo, I gotta watch, um, I gotta watch Dora Shea's video for this episode, man. I, I, I do, I do. Knowing he's the biggest Kobe fan on the planet, man. That chapter reaction was legendary. Shout out to my boy, the Dora Shea, bro. So cute that Rebecca still calls Luffy Lu Lucy. <laughs> Luffy Lando. But like I was gonna say earlier, it's amazing to me how Luffy does not give a flying flag nards about getting recognition for everything he does, but he does care about his bounty. Like, like, like that's such a cool uh, thing. It's like, yeah, man, I don't give a flying flag nards about people recognizing me for what I do, but I want to level up. You, <laughs> you feel me? I, I want to level up. So. Viola, man. For real. Here we go. Dude, I've been waiting for this to get animated for so long, man. This was the portion of the, of the, I mean, the entire chapter, chapter 903, these last two episodes, bringing it back to the beginning. But man, this portion right here, I was like, ah! Come the torpedoes. That's what y'all think. Look at him. Look at, look at that swift swimming motion. My boy's in there. <laughs> We're in the shades and everything. Man, dude. In the flesh! In animated form! Captain Kobe! Man, dude, can you imagine just being an anime only and I watched a preview last week and seeing Kobe again for the first time in so long? Every time I see Kobe, it always reminds me of, of my original idea for what how I imagined the end of the series to be, man. It takes to the beginnings, but I'll stick it to the end. From a distant Navy ship. My boy swam from a distant Navy ship. My boy Hal Meppel be putting in work too, man. You feel me? It's not just Kobe. Hal Meppel's been putting in gains. He's been in the gym. He's been benching. 
Probably doing some squats too, man. Don't don't mess with Hell Meppo. My boy Kitos. You're the famous Captain Gobi. Famous hero of the Rocky Port incident, man. I, I, I love how Kairos thinks of it that way. Like, he's not holding this thing over. Yo, look at this! <laughs> Luffy, son! Of course he wants to see it, man. That's his boy, you feel me? A great captain with 5,000 subordinates destroyed Big Mom's castle. Took down the top officer who is worth a billion. The fifth emperor of the sea. Luffy sounds as cool as always. That's how all of us feel, man. At least that's how I feel. He just keeps moving forward, man. Can't help but shed tears, bro. I, 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 I pretty much did for 903, man. Every time I see him in the newspaper, I think of that day. Same. Same, Kobe. Same. The legendary beginning of the series, man. And for me, the very first time we saw the goat, at least in the anime, because I always say, I started off with the anime, so this part right here is super special for me, man. Like, this is where my journey started, bro. You feel me? How far the Straw Hats have come since this day? How far Luffy has come? Since the first episode, man. Technically, second chapter in the manga, but still first episode. Monkey D. Luffy. Alvida, man. <laughs> Alvida. <laughs> but that's why we love Luffy, man. He's so blunt and honest, but that's how you know it's coming straight, straight from the heart. My boy was shook. He was like, what? King of the Pirates? Man. Dun, 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 dun. Every time I hear that tune, the one with uh, Luffy's transition and Zoro's, the one playing right now, it always takes me back, man, to the, uh, to the beginning the, uh, with the OG uh, bounty posters coming up on the screen. Transit with the episode transitions. Uh, the eye catches. Oh, I love this soundtrack so much. Yeah, Kobe's remembered back to the beginning, bro. It's like, how could you not in this moment, man? My man finally becomes the fifth emperor of the sea. They recognize him as one of the five best, greatest pirates that are on the seas, bro. Our Luffy, our king, our captain, man. Such an amazing moment. Damn straight. 
So if I die fighting for that, that's fine with me, man. I love that line, dude. I love that line. It's not about whether or not I can do it. I just want to do it. So I'm going to do it. It's incredible to me to also see how far Kobe has come, you feel me? From all the way back then. I was so happy for Kobe whenever he said this, man. <laughs> I was like, yes. I was just like, Luffy, bro. <laughs> And he, he definitely could right now, man. If Alvita was still in the seas, Kobe will one-shot that whole crew. Factually. Man, dude, the Captain Morgan stuff. That's right, man. That's right. This this scene right here is what, you know, Arlong Park and uh, the end of Logue Town made me a fan forever. But this scene right here is what solidified One Piece is like something special for me, man. I'll never forget the first time I watched this. scene right here bro this scene right here it's made me love and appreciate luffy's character so much too bro Such a beautiful scene, man. Luffy's genius, man. He just understands people, bro. I love that scene, man. I'm telling you. I like that scene is is it's 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 when I first realized like man this is my series bro, look at this guy this is my series man, and I loved it from episode one but that scene right there I was like God man, this is this is amazing. <laughs> How many flipping episodes 
after this. This was such a beautiful scene, man. Act they're saluting a pirate, bro. Greatness. Absolute greatness. So many good vibes. Kobe, man. I love this chapter so much, bro. God. It's been a pleasure. It really has. Uh, seeing this animated... <laughs> you like Luffy Land, right? No, 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 he's our enemy. <laughs> you can just tell on your face, man. And she's like, man, I want to appreciate Luffy with you too. Here we go. Yes. I was the fool who screwed up my important smile trade. Look at Kaido. At that old bag's place. Here we go. Back to whole cake. Yo, Big Mom had to feel mad disrespected when she heard that. Like, when did I lose? Like, when when did I take an L? Morgan's no Mugiwara. Yo, look at Big Bob's rage, bro. Here it comes. My favorite of the four. Look at my boy Blackbeard. Emperor? It's too soon for you to be called that. Say <laughs> Goat beard. And now we see the goat, man. Fucking shanks. Bro, when I saw this, I flipped out. Shanks. I think I'll be seeing you soon, Luffy, man. He acknowledges that he is almost at that level of where they can actually meet, man. He's almost a great pirate in his eyes. Just the whole combination of this chapter really takes you back to the beginnings, man. Let them know. Your bounty is 1.5 belly. 1.5 billion berries, man. The rest of the world are on their way to the land of Wano. To be continued. I gotta watch this next episode preview. I have to. I have to. Yes! Oh, I'm excited for next week, man. Just to hear their voices. Yes. Ah! Dude. Oh, I can't wait. Ah, I'm excited for next week, man. I, I always knew that chapter 904 would, uh, would just look better. In the anime like all that stuff would just look I mean not necessarily better but it would just translate well in animated form so I really can't wait for next week's episode man episode 880 that's gonna be a lot of fun but yeah man 903 has completely been animated now uh, with episodes 870 and 879 and I completely understand why it is that they decided to go about it in this way of course they're trying to not have uh, filler and not trying to go into too much filler. I'm, I'm going to assume we're still getting a filler arc because we have a movie coming out soon. But um, in terms of of uh, episode 800, or I'm sorry, in terms of chapter 903 being split in half in the way they did it, um, I'm sure it's because they wanted to capitalize on the individuals who have either not been following One Piece for very long 
or on the casual viewers who have been following this series, or on the anime onlys that 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 um that they wish to reward them with, why it is that this entire portion is so important. And so they decided to dedicate last week's episode to Shanks and this week's episode to Kobe. And uh, overall, having because the entire chapter, uh, which is why I love nine hundred three so much, the entire chapter lets you realize just how far it is that we've come from the beginning, man. Which is why I read volume one after reading that chapter because it just fits so well to read it, to go back to the beginning and appreciate where we are right now and that we are truly getting close to the end of the series uh, where Luffy is recognized as one of the five greatest pirates on the sea, man. With him having an extremely high bounty, the highest bounty that we had seen in the series so far. With, um, with the revelation of Kobe... And seeing how he is doing right now, and him crying over seeing Luffy in the newspaper, to seeing Shanks, seeing he's almost there, like, it looks like we're able to meet soon. And what does that say? That means that Luffy is almost on the level to where he wanted him to be. He's almost a great pirate uh, in his eyes and from his perspective. And seeing all of the emperors reacting to this, and seeing the navy and, and, and Akainu want to take care of the situation man and i just i love this chapter i and i am glad um that i finally got to see it in animated form with uh, these last two episodes and i truly do appreciate the flashbacks man i appreciate the 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 way that it was restyled to today's animation with uh, last week's episode it, i looked fantastic uh, this week's flashback was a standard flashback uh, stuff uh, when it comes to the Kobe stuff, but it was still well appreciated, man. It's always great to go back to the beginnings and appreciate why it is that we love what we're currently seeing so much. And, um, and man, dude, 903. But I, I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun watching these last two episodes. Can't wait for next week, uh, or I should say this week. This week's episode's gonna be a banger, man. I've been waiting to see this, all of this stuff animated. I just, I love this saga so much, man. This little stretch of chapters, honestly, from here, I mean, I love Whole Cake too, so it's like th this long stretch of godliness that we're getting in the anime is just a massive treat, and it's still continuing on in the manga, and, and I'm super excited for the future of the series, and today we got a new Stampede uh, visual, which looked absolutely amazing and then we got some new screenshots and oh man do they look beast there is so many characters gonna be in this in this film man and just the visuals with the color palette looks the way that uh, you see the background blended with the care oh it looks fantastic so i can't wait but yeah man overall solid stuff uh, and very very enjoyable stuff finally seeing 903 animated and whatnot, you're definitely gonna see. Uh, I mean, I've already seen them in my recommended section for last week's episode. Uh, last week's episode, the the monologue at the end, or the narrator speaking at the end of the last week's episode, is already already has like a million something views. Um, you know, these are obviously massive and huge moments. And maybe for the casual viewers out there that don't really keep up with the series, but they watch it through YouTube clips, because there are some people that do that. Um, they keep up with the series to YouTube clips, or like they just hop into one of the latest episodes for not having watching it for a long time. Um, if one of those people were to watch these two episodes, I guarantee you, even they would be tempted to go back and probably want to watch it from the beginning, man. So, and I hope that is the case. But anyways, man, I respect and I understand Toei's decision after the end of Whole Cake Island, or I, I should say after Whole Cake Island in general. Um, I have so much faith in Toei that they know what they're doing with this saga and what they want to do with Wano. Just seeing uh, certain animators on, or I, I forgot which one it was that I saw on Twitter saying that that him and that he and the staff are already working on like the working uh, the beginnings of Wano, which makes sense because if uh, because Toei, from what I have learned in my research. Uh, they're always eight week at least, or it's either like six to eight weeks, right, ahead of the current episode in their production schedule. It doesn't mean the episode's done, but it means that they're already, like, that's the rotation. It's, it's it's an eight-week rotation with different directors, animation directors, animators, and whatnot. So with that being said, if it is truly an eight-week thing, 
then in eight weeks, unless there's filler, we will without question be in Wano. Uh, that that's just that that's just the facts. You know what I'm saying? So if there's filler, we won't be there in eight weeks. But if there is no filler, without question, uh, unless they're planning on doing the filler after 909, you know, now that would make sense. But at the same time, I don't want that to happen because of the way 909 is. I want it to be filler, then 909, and then we continue on into Wano. So with that being said, if that is the case, then I don't know. I don't know, because if, if he says that they're already working on the Wano saga, uh, it could just be the first, like I said, 909, and they go into filler. And the reason why I keep insisting filler is because we always get a filler arc before a new movie. Um, and that has been the regular thing for the past, like, decade in the One Piece anime. So, that's why I'm expecting filler there. But if we do not get it, or if we get it later than expected, um, then I'd probably say that we're going to get 909 filler, and then 910, we, we head off in full, full steam ahead into Wano. But I'm excited, man. I'm excited. I, I love all of this stuff that's about to go down here in the anime, and it's going to be a great time to be a fan of One Piece, man. Just reliving this and re-experiencing this in the anime on a week-to-week -week basis is going to be so much fun. Having the voice actors and the music behind it, it's, it's going to be great. I can't wait, man. But I'll see y'all next time. Have an awesome day. One Piece greatness. Let me know what y'all thought about these, about the way they handle 903 and the anime, and what you thought about this episode, and the Kobe Awesome Sauce Man, and just how this takes you back to the beginning and to truly appreciate the journey so far, man. Thank y'all so much for watching. Have an awesome day. One Piece greatness. I will see y'all for episode 880, hopefully, on Saturday night, man. I'll see you all next time.